queue across to a, a developing situation at LaGuardia Airport. Uh, as you can see, uh, atrocious weather conditions there. And the latest that we're hearing is that uh, an aircraft has skidded off the runway there. And the latest that we're hearing is that uh, an aircraft has skidded off the runway there. Uh, we're told that uh, it was an inbound Delta flight 1086. It's got a broken wing and fuel is leaking from the fuselage. Um, we're being told that there is a call for uh, multiple buses to get to the area as quickly as possible. It is hoped that uh, passengers could start to disembark very quickly indeed. But as you can see, the conditions are absolutely appalling. Let's listen to our colleagues at Fox. Three seats on the other, a single aisle uh, jetliner normally carries, I don't know, maybe 80 to 100 people. But this MD-80 has apparently skidded off the runway at LaGuardia. Uh, if you're not in the New York City area, this particular storm that we're experiencing right now, as is much of the country, is actually far worse than the storm that, that closed the city back, oh, a month or six weeks ago. Um, the storm that caused the transit systems to shut down and so forth. So this MD-80, we don't know whether it was taking off or landing, but, the, but my expectation uh, would be that it was landing. It's, uh, you have to jam on the brakes, as I said, very, very uh, strongly when you come into LaGuardia, and, and that may have led this plane to go off the runway, and it appears to have nosed onto either a snowbank or one of the protective barriers that stand at the end of the runway. 29 degrees in New York City, slushy and cold and just sort of a mess, as I'm sure so many of you are also experiencing in your own cities and towns across this country. Again, the fire department responding here, and one of the big questions is as well, John, is that uh, once we can show you exactly which way the plane is situated, if it is a full plane, uh, getting those folks safely off the plane and, you know, back inside is, is going to be quite an effort. As of right now, according to reports, LaGuardia Airport is closed because of this, um, which I'm sure you can talk a little bit about, John. You have a lot of planes that are already in the sky looking to land at LaGuardia, and the weather being what it is, you know, that sounds like a little bit of a challenge, New to say the least. Newer airports, you know, Denver, Dallas, uh, generally have parallel runways, and if one runway is shut down, they can still manage to bring in traffic on a parallel runway that might be, you know, a mile or so away. LaGuardia is a very old airport, one of the country's oldest. That's why the run runways are so short. And it only has crossing runways. Uh, so if, if the runway that favors the wind is shut down, they don't have any other options. Uh, given, given the wind today, and I haven't looked at it, but uh, Maria Molina will be along in a little while uh, to give us the weather report. Given the wind today, it simply would not be safe uh, to bring in aircraft on the crossing runway. Since